Yo, yo, yo. I missed you guys. Thank you for coming back. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well and having a good night. We are still dealing with linear equations. We're building a linear equation given a graph, okay? And what we were doing last time is we were looking at a bunch of graphs and we're, you know, just went into Bing and typed in graph of linear equation. A whole bunch of them pull up underneath images. And we're just going to find what the rate of change is for um, these different graphs. Now, uh, this is the one I wanted to look at. Uh, this one here for sure. All right, so let's, uh, let's look at this thing. Uh, get my pen out. Hope you guys are doing well today. Miss you guys. Thinking about you. Okay, here we go. Um, what can we tell just by looking at it, you know? I can tell it's decreasing. I can tell it's kind of steep. So it's not going to be a number like one half or one fifth or something like that. You know, it's going to be a, a bigger number. Um, it's decreasing. You know, it's also crossing the y-axis at five. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write y equals mx plus b. We're going to put it in this form right here. Uh, x and y stay the same. We're going to get the m value and the b value. All right, let's get the m value first. All right, just for giggles. The m value, the slope, the rise over the run, the change in y over the change in x. Our points are given to us here, so that's good. We have a point here at 5. And, you know, we could go to this point. We could go to this point. It doesn't matter which two ordered pairs you go to because when you divide the rise over the run, it's like a proportion is going to even itself out. So let's just go from one point to the other. <gasps> what do we forget to do? Oh, my gosh. You do the sign first. That thing is going down. So we need to put the sign first. Recognize the sign first. All right. Now, from one point to the next, you're going down. I mean, that should be a good indication that you have a negative slope or a negative rate of change because you're going down, all right? But some kids, like even if it was a positive line, like even if it was a positive line like this, some kids like to go down and to the left, which is still positive down and left. Both make a positive because you're going down, which is negative, and left, which is negative, and negative divided by negative is positive. Having said that, we're going to go from this point to this point. We're going to go down two over one. So this is kind of like another step. The last ones we did, the, fra the, uh, the slope was a fraction, all right? Well, this is 2 over 1, and if you left it like that, it's not the end of the world. It's technically the rise over the run. That's just not how we write it in math, all right? If it was a multiple choice test, 2 over 1 is not going to be up there, all right? Your rate of change is negative 2, all right? You go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1 every single time. It's a constant rate, yeah? Now, where is it crossing the y-axis? I know it looks kind of hard. It's kind of hard to see right here, but it's crossing at positive five. So you would put plus five, and we are done with that one. All right. I just want to show you that one because it's a whole number. That's your rate of change. It's a uh, the slope's a whole number. So uh, you know you just simplify the fraction. Anytime you get a fraction for your slope, like let's say it was ten over four. Well, we don't leave it like that. Technically, it is the rise over the run. This has nothing to do with the question we just did. By the way, ten over four. You would simplify that down. Okay, 2 goes into 10 five times and 2 goes into 4 twice. Your answer would be 5 halves. I'm just saying if you left it like this, I would mark it right. But this would not be one of the choices on a multiple choice test. And you'd get your answer and you'd be like, oh my gosh, I did something wrong. And, you know, you actually did it right. So let's go on to another one. This one, I, I no. Yeah, uh, this next question I almost am hesitant to do it because I'm probably going to use the same exact question on y'all's quiz coming up. This is a great question. There we go. Let's take, ooh, let's get white. All right. Which of the following equations or which of the following graphs represents the equation y equals 2x plus 1. That's a 1 right there. Maybe I shouldn't use white. y equals 2x plus 1. All right. So this is a multiple choice question. I mean, this is perfect. This is like, I mean, it's getting you to know. It looks like a seemingly easy question, but it's getting you to really understand what you're doing here. Is <laughs> I'm having problems with my pen. 
That's a plus sign. Good night. All right, so which of those equations represents y equals 2x plus 1? Well, what do we know about it? Let's look at the equation. The y-intercept is 1. You know, here's the y-intercept. This is the number that's standing all by itself. So we're going to look at each one of these graphs. And, like, we're going to eliminate some of them just by looking at it. You know, like, I can eliminate this guy. This ain't it. Let's change a different color. White was not good. This ain't it. It's not crossing at 1. It's crossing at 2. All right? So, you know, first off, what I'd do is I might look at the rate of change. Like, I'd look at the slope, and I'd see if it's positive or negative. This is a positive slope, so your line is going to be going like this somehow. All right? Um, if your line wasn't going like that, if it was going the other direction, you could get rid of it. You could narrow it down, like get that out of there. All right? I could also get rid of this one. Y'all see where it's crossing at 2? Look, we're already down to a 50-50 chance, and we have both of them crossing at 1. So now we've got to go to the rate of change. We've got to figure out which one of those has a slope of 2 or a rate of change of 2. This guy, you have a point right here. You have a point right here. You're going to rise 1, run 2. This one, you have a point here, and you've got to have a point here. We're going to go up 2 over 1. So which is it? Do we do the change in x over the change in y, or do we do the change in y over the change in x? Yeah, we're going to pick the change in y over the change in x. You're going to go up 2 over 1 because 2 over 1 simplifies down to 2, not 1 over 2. That would give you 1 half. See how this line is not very steep? This line is a little bit steeper. You don't want to go with that one. So your answer, let's see. Let's clear it again. This one was your answer, all right? Graph 2 for the y equals 2x plus 1, all right? Hopefully y'all took note on that one because you're going to see that question for sure later, all right? All right.